Today we're looking at C Sharp and Java, two of the most popular programming languages out there, and I want to answer the question of how similar they are really. I'll be doing that by comparing C Sharp and Java to help you get a better understanding of their similarities and their differences. We'll start by taking a quick look at the history of both these languages and then their primary purposes, and then dive into the syntax, the features, and the libraries that make these languages similar. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear picture of how C Sharp and Java relate to each other, and if learning one of these can help you learn the other more easily. C Sharp and Java were both developed in the late 90s and early 2000s. Java was created by Sun Microsystems and is now owned by Oracle. It's aimed to provide a platform independent language for web and software development. C Sharp was developed by Microsoft and it was designed as part of the .NET initiative to create an easy to use object oriented language for the Microsoft platform. C Sharp was actually initially referred to as Microsoft Java, and that highlights some of the similarities between these two languages right from the start. So let's have a look at some of the core similarities between C Sharp and Java. Both C Sharp and Java share a C style syntax, which uh, makes their code structure appear quite similar. So this includes the use of curly braces or curly brackets as I call them to define blocks of code and then you've also got semicolons to terminate statements. Similar keywords here for declaring variables and loops and conditionals. For example, declaring a variable in both languages looks like this. So you've got int and then x equals 5. The word int is different between C Sharp and Java but it's not hugely different, it's just the name of the type, then the variable, then an equal sign. Additionally, control flow statements. So statements like if and else, like we've got here, these are very similar between C Sharp and Java. C Sharp and Java are both strongly object-oriented languages, and that means that they support the four key object-oriented principles. So that's inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, and abstraction. Both these languages have classes, they have objects, they have interfaces, and they have abstract classes. So that allows developers to create complex systems with reusable code. In C Sharp and Java, you can define classes with methods and properties and fields, and you can inherit base classes and you can implement interfaces to define a contract for a class. This shared approach to object-oriented programming makes it relatively simple for developers to apply their object-oriented knowledge from one language into the other. Both C Sharp and Java are handled by garbage collectors. The garbage collectors automatically manage memory allocation and deallocation. So that frees up developers like you from the burden of manual memory management. Now the use of garbage collection helps to reduce memory leaks and it makes the code more efficient and less prone to errors. So the specific garbage collection algorithms used in C Sharp and Java are a little bit different, but the overall concept and the benefits of having that automatic memory management do remain consistent between the two. Both C Sharp and Java come equipped with extensive standard libraries that offer a wide range of functionality from data structures and algorithms to file IO and networking and multi-threading. Although the specific classes and methods and namespacing and packages and things may differ between these two languages, the overall concepts and the general use are strikingly similar. For example, both languages provide collections like lists and dictionaries, which is called a map in Java, um, and queues. Understanding the standard libraries of one language make it a lot easier for a developer to grasp the libraries in the other language. So that really speeds up the learning process. So if you understand lists in Java, you'll definitely be able to understand them in C Sharp and vice versa. Exception handling in C Sharp and Java follows a similar pattern. They both use try catch finally blocks to gracefully handle errors and exceptions. This approach allows developers to create robust and fault tolerant applications by catching and handling exceptions at runtime. The syntax for exception handling is nearly identical in both languages, and that makes it easy for developers to apply your error handling skills across these two frameworks or languages. 
So by exploring these similarities in great detail, it becomes clear that C Sharp and Java do actually share many fundamental concepts and structures. This common ground allows developers experienced in one language to more easily learn and adapt to the other language. I, for example, was an Android developer for a long time and then I very quickly moved back into C Sharp without too much headache between the two. It is essential to recognize that each language also has unique features and capabilities, and you do need to study those separately to gain a complete understanding of their respective power and versatility. But despite the similarities, there are also some key differences between C Sharp and Java. So to answer the burning question, are C Sharp and Java similar? Kind of yes, they share many of the similarities in terms of syntax, in terms of object-oriented concepts, memory management, similar libraries, and similar exception handling. If you're already proficient in one, then you'll find it much easier to learn the other. However, keep in mind that there are still differences between these two languages, and you'll need to explore those differences further. So I hope you found this comparison of C Sharp and Java helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos on software development and other career tips and things like that. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, my name is James Charlesworth, and this is the Train to Code YouTube channel.